and thank you for watching our ActiLife training video. This video will cover downloading an Actigraph device. Let's start by opening the ActiLife software and clicking on the Devices tab in the upper left corner. Now you can plug in your Actigraph device using a USB cable or if you're using the GT9X Link device, the Link Docking Station. Once the software recognizes the device, it will appear in the device's grid. Here you can confirm that the device contains data for this download by looking at the current data recorded column. Now you can proceed with the download by selecting Download. This will open a new floating window. In this new window, the top text bar will contain the default download location for this new data file. You can choose to save the file in a different location by clicking the Change Location option to the left. The Download Naming Convention box will allow you to name this new dataset based on information already located on the device. These options include serial number, subject name, as well as other additional options. The Download Options box will allow you to simultaneously create a clinical sleep report or an AGD file by checking the box to the left of these options. Please note that you can only create the clinical sleep report if you have advanced sleep feature package. If an AGD file is selected, you will need to set the parameters for this file. These include the epoch length, with options ranging from 1 to 240 seconds, the number of axes, steps, lux or ambient light values, inclinometer to assist with body position, and low frequency extension filter. With the download options set, you can now add or edit subject information by checking the box next to Add Biometric Information. You will then be able to alter these parameters as needed. The device is now ready to be downloaded. Simply click Download All Devices to proceed. The floating window will disappear and the progress bar will show the download status. Once the download is complete, the status column will show finished downloading. You will now be able to click the finished downloading hyperlink to view the new data. Note that after the download is complete, data will remain on the device until it is reinitialized. If you plan to store the device for an extended period of time, you can perform a factory reset by selecting the Advanced option and then Factory Reset. This will erase the data and put the battery into a low power state for storage. We hope this tutorial was helpful and thanks for watching.